I, I think there are some very close parallels with Edward's career back in the 1920s and 30s and the, uh, the modern day princes. We have the obvious example now of Prince Harry, who is of course engaged to be married to Meghan Markle. And Meghan, as we know, is an American divorcee in just the, the same way as uh, Wallace Simpson was all those years ago. So it's a mark, really, of how times have changed, that uh, whereas Edward in the 1930s, in 1936, was forced to abdicate because he was determined to make Wallace Simpson his wife, despite the fact she was divorced. But now everybody welcomes the forthcoming marriage to uh, Meghan that uh, the Prince Harry is about to embark upon. It's very interesting, however, because um, way back almost a century ago, in 1919, at the, at the end of the war, and when the uh, Anglo-American alliance was really being forged, the Daily Express, uh, in a front page article, argued that the best thing which could happen for Anglo-American relations was that the Prince of Wales should marry an American bride. And that has taken a hundred years to, uh, to come about.